If you want to live a life of fulfillment and purpose, you need to master the art of self-discipline and intentional living. In a world full of distractions and shortcuts, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. But if you're serious about becoming the best version of yourself, it's time to take control of your mind, your habits, and your actions. In this video, we'll explore 10 powerful principles rooted in Stoic philosophy that can transform your life. From controlling your hormones to pursuing excellence, each principle is a step towards living with intention, building resilience, and achieving your goals. These aren't just abstract ideas. They are practical strategies that have stood the test of time, guiding individuals through the challenges of life with wisdom and strength. As we delve into these concepts, you'll find yourself shifting through different emotions, from the initial happiness of recognizing your potential to the deeper understanding of what it takes to truly change to a sense of nostalgia as you reflect on past experiences and finally, a burning curiosity to see how these ideas can be applied to your own life. So, if you're ready to take control and live with purpose, let's get started. 1. Control your hormones Imagine a day where everything seems to align perfectly. The morning sun gently wakes you up, casting a warm glow across your room. You feel invigorated, ready to take on the world. This is the kind of day we all hope for, where our bodies and minds are in sync and we're at our best. But what happens when stress creeps in, when the demands of life start pulling you in every direction? Suddenly, that calm morning feels like a distant memory and your body reacts. Your heart races, your muscles tense and your mind becomes clouded with anxiety. This is where the ancient wisdom of Stoicism becomes relevant. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor known for his philosophical insight, understood the importance of controlling not just the mind, but the body as well. He knew that our hormones, the very chemicals that dictate our mood, energy levels and stress response, could either be our allies or our enemies. Think back to a time when you were faced with a high-pressure situation. Maybe it was a crucial work presentation, a difficult conversation, or an unexpected crisis. Your body's natural response might have been to flood your system with adrenaline, preparing you for a fight-or-flight reaction. This is a survival mechanism that served our ancestors well, but in modern life, it often leads to unnecessary stress and burnout. Marcus Aurelius believed in mastering this response, in taking control of the body's natural reactions through discipline and practice. He didn't have the scientific understanding of hormones that we do today, but he intuitively grasped the concept that by calming the mind, you can also calm the body. This is why practices like meditation, mindfulness, and even physical exercise are so vital they help regulate the hormones that influence our emotions and behavior. Now, imagine being able to face any challenge with the same calm and clarity you feel on those perfect mornings. By controlling your hormones through diet, exercise and mental discipline, you can approach life's stresses with a sense of balance and control rather than letting them control you. Picture yourself in a difficult situation but instead of reacting with panic or anger, you remain calm, collected, and in control of your emotions. This is not just an ideal. It's a practice rooted in Stoic philosophy that can transform the way you live your life. 2. Rule your mind. There's a saying that goes, you are the master of your fate, the captain of your soul. It speaks to the power of the mind. The idea that no matter what external circumstances we face, it's our inner world that truly defines our experience. But how often do we feel like our minds are ruling us rather than the other way around? How many times have you found yourself spiraling into negative thoughts, consumed by worry or paralyzed by indecision? 
Marcus Aurelius, despite being an emperor with the weight of the world on his shoulders, understood this struggle intimately. He wrote extensively about the importance of ruling one's mind, of mastering thoughts and emotions to maintain inner peace. He knew that the mind could be a powerful tool, but only if it was controlled, disciplined and focused. Imagine yourself in a moment of anxiety or stress. Perhaps you're overwhelmed by work, or maybe you're dealing with a personal issue that feels insurmountable. In these moments, it's easy to let your mind take over, to be consumed by fear or doubt. But what if, instead of allowing those thoughts to spiral, you could stop them in their tracks? What if you could take a step back, observe your thoughts without judgment, and choose how to respond? This is the essence of ruling your mind, a core tenet of Stoicism. It's about recognizing that while you can't always control what happens to you, you can control how you react to it. Marcus Aurelius would remind himself daily that his mind was his own, that no one could disturb his peace unless he allowed them to. This practice of self-reflection, of examining and questioning one's thoughts, is what allowed him to maintain his composure in the face of immense pressure. Think about a time when you felt truly in control of your mind. Maybe it was during a moment of deep focus where everything else faded away and you were completely absorbed in the task at hand. Or perhaps it was a moment of clarity where you were able to see a situation for what it truly was without the cloud of emotions or bias. These moments of mental mastery are what Stoicism aims to cultivate. But it's not easy. Our minds are constantly bombarded by external stimuli, by the demands of modern life, by our own fears and insecurities. Ruling your mind requires constant vigilance, a commitment to self-discipline and the willingness to confront your own thoughts and beliefs. Yet, the reward is profound, a life lived with intention, clarity and inner peace. Now, imagine being able to navigate the ups and downs of life with this kind of mental strength. When challenges arise, instead of being overwhelmed, you remain steady, confident in your ability to handle whatever comes your way. This is the power of ruling your mind, a skill that can be developed with practice and one that can transform not just how you think, but how you live. 3. Making money is important. Let's be honest, money matters. It's something we all think about, whether we like to admit it or not. Money influences nearly every aspect of our lives, from the food we eat, to the places we live, to the opportunities we can provide for ourselves and our loved ones. Yet, in the pursuit of wealth, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. We've all heard the saying that money can't buy happiness, but try telling that to someone who's struggling to make ends meet. Marcus Aurelius, despite being an emperor with immense wealth at his disposal, understood the delicate balance between material wealth and spiritual well-being. He knew that while money is a necessary tool, it should never be the master. The pursuit of wealth, if unchecked, can lead to a life of endless striving, where no amount of money is ever enough and true contentment remains elusive. Imagine a time when you were particularly focused on making money. Perhaps it was a period of your life where you were driven by financial goals. Maybe you were saving for a house, trying to pay off debt, or simply trying to build a better future for yourself. During that time, how did you feel? Were you energized by the challenge, or did you find yourself consumed by it? constantly thinking about how to earn more, how to get ahead. It's important to acknowledge that money is important. It provides security, comfort, and the means to achieve many of our goals. But according to Stoic philosophy, the key is not to let the pursuit of money override other aspects of life. Marcus Aurelius believed that true wealth comes not from what you have, but from how you live. It's about finding a balance where money serves your life rather than the other way around. 
Think about a time when you achieved a financial goal. Maybe you finally paid off a loan, landed a big promotion, or saved up for something special. In that moment, you likely felt a sense of accomplishment, a relief that your hard work had paid off. But after the initial satisfaction, what came next? Did you immediately start thinking about the next goal, the next financial milestone? This is the trap that many fall into, constantly chasing after more, without ever stopping to appreciate what they have. Marcus Aurelius would advise us to pursue financial success, but not at the cost of our integrity, our relationships, or our inner peace. He would remind us that money is a means to an end, not an end in itself. The real wealth, according to Stoicism, lies in living a life of virtue, purpose, and contentment. Qualities that money can't buy, but that bring lasting fulfillment. Now, picture yourself living a life where money is no longer a source of stress or obsession. Instead, it's a tool that you use wisely, one that supports your goals and enhances your life, but never controls it. This is the stoic approach to wealth, one that prioritizes what truly matters while still recognizing the importance of financial security. 4. Everyday Workout Picture a time when you felt truly alive in your body. Maybe it was after a long walk in the park, a satisfying workout, or simply a moment when you felt physically strong and capable. That feeling of vitality, of being in sync with your body, is something we all crave. But in today's world, it's easy to let physical health take a back seat. We get caught up in work, responsibilities, and the convenience of modern life, often neglecting the very thing that keeps us going, our bodies. The Stoics understood the importance of physical health. They believed that a strong body was crucial to maintaining a strong mind. After all, how can you expect to face life's challenges if you're constantly fatigued, sluggish, or unwell? Marcus Aurelius himself was known for his commitment to physical exercise, seeing it as a way to build not just physical strength, but also mental resilience. Think about a time when you neglected your physical health. Maybe you skipped workouts, ate poorly, or just didn't make time for self-care. How did it affect your mood? your energy levels, your ability to focus. It's likely that as your physical health declined, so did your mental and emotional well-being. This is because our bodies and minds are deeply connected, and when one suffers, so does the other. Now, imagine incorporating regular physical activity into your daily routine, not as a chore, but as a way to honor and care for your body. The Stoics believed in the power of small, consistent actions. Just as they practiced daily meditation to train the mind, they also valued daily physical exercise to strengthen the body. Whether it's a brisk walk, a short run, or a workout at the gym, these small acts of self-discipline can have a profound impact on your overall well-being. Think about how you feel after a good workout. There's a sense of accomplishment of having done something good for yourself. Your body feels more alive, your mind clearer, and your mood brighter. This is the result of endorphins, the hormones that exercise releases, which naturally boost your happiness and reduce stress. The Stoics may not have known about endorphins, but they understood that physical activity was key to maintaining a balanced life. Imagine making this a regular part of your life, where exercise isn't just something you do, but part of who you are. Each day you take time to move your body, to stretch, to push your limits, and to feel the strength that comes from consistent effort. This is how you build not just a strong body, but a resilient mind, one that can handle whatever life throws at you with grace and power. Five, take it one step at a time. Life can often feel overwhelming. We're constantly bombarded with responsibilities, goals and expectations, both from ourselves and others. The sheer volume of tasks we need to accomplish can paralyze us. 
making it hard to even know where to start. In these moments, it's easy to feel stuck, to get caught up in the enormity of what lies ahead and to lose sight of the simple, practical steps we can take right now. The Stoics were well aware of this human tendency to become overwhelmed by the big picture. Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers, often reminded his students that life is best lived one step at a time. He taught that by breaking down our goals and challenges into manageable pieces, we can maintain focus, avoid burnout, and steadily make progress. Think back to a time when you faced a daunting task. Maybe it was a big project at work, a significant life decision, or even a personal challenge that seemed insurmountable. How did you begin to tackle it? Chances are the key to overcoming it was breaking it down into smaller, more manageable steps. By focusing on what you could do right now, rather than being overwhelmed by the entire journey, you were able to make progress. Now, apply this principle to your current life. Whether you're striving to achieve a personal goal, improve your career, or simply manage your day-to-day -day responsibilities, the stoic approach is to focus on the next step, the next action, the next decision. Marcus Aurelius would remind himself each morning to focus on the day ahead, to take it one task at a time, and to trust that consistent effort would eventually lead to success. This approach not only helps in achieving long-term goals, but also brings a sense of peace and clarity. When you're not constantly worrying about the future, you can be more present in the moment, more mindful of the actions you're taking, and more at ease with where you are right now. It's about trusting the process, understanding that even the smallest step forward is progress, and that over time, these small steps add up to significant achievements. Imagine living your life with this mindset. Instead of feeling overwhelmed by everything you need to do, you approach each day with a sense of purpose, focusing on what you can do today, in this moment. This is the Stoic way, one step at a time, one decision at a time, one day at a time. 6. Eating Habits of Natural Foods Close your eyes and picture the best meal you've ever had. Was it a holiday feast, a homemade dish, or perhaps something simple but incredibly fresh and flavorful? Good food has a way of bringing us joy, comfort, and even nostalgia. It connects us to the past, to our families, and to the cultures we come from. But in today's fast-paced world, the art of eating well has often been replaced by convenience and speed. We're surrounded by processed foods, sugary snacks, and quick fixes that promise to satisfy, but leave us feeling sluggish and unhealthy. The Stoics believed that what we put into our bodies is just as important as what we do with our minds. They advocated for a simple, natural diet, one that nourishes the body and supports a life of balance and health. Marcus Aurelius himself was known for his simple eating habits, preferring foods that were natural, unprocessed, and in harmony with nature. Think about your own eating habits. How often do you reach for something quick and easy, rather than taking the time to prepare a meal from fresh, whole ingredients? It's easy to fall into the trap of convenience, especially when life gets busy. But consider how you feel after eating processed foods compared to how you feel after a meal made from fresh vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. There's a noticeable difference in energy levels, mood, and overall well-being. Now, imagine transforming your diet to include more natural foods. It doesn't have to be complicated. Start with small changes, like incorporating more fruits and vegetables into your meals, choosing whole grains over refined ones, or replacing sugary snacks with nuts and seeds. These small adjustments can have a profound impact on your health, your energy levels, and your overall quality of life. The Stoics believed that by aligning our eating habits with the natural world, we not only improve our physical health, but also our mental clarity and emotional stability. When your body is well-nourished, 
your mind is clearer, your moods are more stable, and you're better equipped to handle the challenges of life. Imagine the sense of well-being that comes from eating foods that truly nourish your body. Each meal becomes an opportunity to care for yourself, to honor your body, and to connect with the natural world. This is not about following a strict diet or denying yourself the pleasure of food. It's about finding a balance where food becomes a source of strength and vitality, rather than just fuel to get through the day. By embracing the stoic approach to eating, choosing natural nourishing foods, you can cultivate a healthier, more balanced life, one meal at a time. 7. Having a goal that is bigger than you. Imagine a time in your life when you felt truly motivated, when you were working towards something that mattered deeply to you. Maybe it was a personal project, a cause you cared about, or a dream you were determined to achieve. There's something powerful about having a goal that is bigger than yourself, something that drives you forward and gives your life a sense of purpose and direction. The Stoics believed that true fulfillment comes from pursuing goals that transcend our own immediate desires and selfish interests. They taught that a meaningful life is one where we strive to contribute to something greater than ourselves, whether it's the well-being of others, the betterment of society, or the pursuit of wisdom and virtue. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, often reflected on the importance of living a life that serves a higher purpose, urging himself to act in ways that benefit not just himself, but the world around him. Think about your own goals and ambitions. Are they focused solely on your personal success? Or do they also consider the impact you can have on others? It's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of wealth, status or personal achievement, but these things alone rarely lead to lasting happiness. The Stoics understood that true contentment comes from knowing that your efforts are contributing to something meaningful, something that will outlive you and make a difference in the world. Now, imagine what it would be like to have a goal that inspires you every day, a goal that gives your life a deeper sense of purpose. It could be anything, a commitment to helping others, a desire to create something beautiful, or a drive to learn and grow as a person. Whatever it is, this goal should be something that challenges you, that pushes you to become better, and that reminds you of your connection to the larger world. By aligning your life with a goal that is bigger than you, you start to see your daily actions in a new light. Each step you take toward that goal, no matter how small, becomes a meaningful part of your journey. This sense of purpose can help you navigate the ups and downs of life, giving you the strength to keep going even when things get tough. Imagine waking up each day with a clear sense of what you're working toward and why it matters. This is the kind of motivation that doesn't waver because it's rooted in something deeper than mere personal gain. It's about living a life that is in harmony with your values and contributing to the greater good. In the Stoic view, this is the path to true fulfillment, living in a way that honors both yourself and the world around you striving each day to make a positive impact. It's about understanding that your life is part of something much larger and that by dedicating yourself to a goal that is bigger than you, you find a deeper, more enduring sense of purpose. 8. Developing Grit and Resilience Remember a time when you faced a significant challenge in your life, something that tested your limits and pushed you to your breaking point. Maybe it was a personal loss, a difficult decision, or a period of intense struggle. In those moments, it's easy to feel overwhelmed, to doubt yourself, and to wonder if you have the strength to keep going. But it's in these very moments that we discover what we're truly made of. The Stoics believed that adversity is not something to be feared, but rather an opportunity to build strength and resilience. They taught that life is filled with challenges and hardships, but it is through facing these difficulties head-on that we develop the inner strength necessary to overcome them. 
Seneca, one of the most famous Stoic philosophers, often spoke of the importance of resilience, urging us to see obstacles as stepping stones rather than roadblocks. Think about a time when you overcame a significant challenge. What did it teach you about yourself? How did it shape the person you are today? The Stoics believed that every obstacle we face is an opportunity to grow, to become stronger, and to develop the grit needed to persevere in the face of adversity. This mindset doesn't just help us survive difficult times, it helps us thrive. Now, imagine approaching life with this Stoic mindset. Instead of fearing challenges or trying to avoid them, you see them as opportunities to build resilience. You understand that every setback, every failure, is a chance to learn, to grow, and to become stronger. This doesn't mean that life will be easy, far from it, but it means that you'll be better equipped to handle whatever comes your way. This kind of resilience is not about being tough or stoic in the face of pain. It's about developing a deep inner strength that allows you to face life's challenges with grace and determination. It's about understanding that while you can't control everything that happens to you, you can control how you respond. And by choosing to respond with resilience, you turn every difficulty into an opportunity for growth. Imagine living your life with this kind of grit and resilience. No matter what challenges you face, you have the inner strength to keep going, to persevere and to find a way through. This doesn't just make you stronger, it makes you wiser, more compassionate and more capable of handling whatever life throws your way. In the Stoic view, developing resilience is one of the most important things we can do. It's what allows us to navigate the ups and downs of life with a sense of purpose and determination. It's what helps us turn setbacks into stepping stones and it's what gives us the strength to keep moving forward no matter how difficult the path may be. 9. Cutting down on pointless activities Think about how you spend your days, the hours spent on social media, the endless scrolling, the distractions that pull you away from what truly matters. In today's world, it's easier than ever to get caught up in pointless activities that drain our time, energy and focus. We often find ourselves busy, but not productive, consumed by activities that add little value to our lives. The Stoics were keenly aware of the importance of time and how easily it can be wasted. Seneca wrote extensively about the shortness of life, urging us to be mindful of how we spend our time. He warned that most people live their lives as if they have an endless supply of time, squandering it on trivial pursuits. To the Stoics, time was one of the most precious resources, and they believed in using it wisely, focusing on what truly matters. Reflect on your own life. How much time do you spend on activities that don't bring you closer to your goals or add value to your life? It's easy to get caught up in the busyness of modern life, filling our days with distractions that keep us from living with intention and purpose. The Stoics would remind us to take a step back, to evaluate how we're spending our time, and to cut out the activities that don't serve us. Imagine what your life would look like if you focused only on what truly matters, if you eliminated the distractions and pointless activities that drain your time and energy, you'd have more time to pursue your goals, to spend with loved ones, and to engage in activities that enrich your life. This doesn't mean you have to be productive every minute of the day, but it does mean being mindful of how you're spending your time and making conscious choices that align with your values. Cutting down on pointless activities isn't just about time management, it's about living with intention. It's about understanding that your time is limited and choosing to spend it on things that bring you closer to the life you want to live. It's about prioritizing what matters most and letting go of the rest. Imagine the freedom that comes from eliminating the unnecessary from your life. You're no longer weighed down by trivial pursuits or distractions. 
Instead, you're focused, intentional, and fully engaged in the things that truly matter. This is the Stoic way, living with purpose, making the most of the time you have, and cutting out anything that doesn't serve your higher goals. By embracing this Stoic principle, you can create a life that is more meaningful, more fulfilling, and more aligned with your true values. You'll have the time and energy to focus on what really matters, and you'll be able to live each day with a sense of purpose and intention. 10. Pursuing Excellence Think back to a time when you put your heart and soul into something, when you strove for excellence in whatever you were doing. Maybe it was a project at work, a hobby you were passionate about, or a personal goal you were determined to achieve. The sense of fulfillment that comes from knowing you've given your best effort is unmatched. It's not about being perfect, but about pursuing excellence in all that you do. The Stoics believed that the pursuit of excellence, what they called arete, or virtue, was the highest aim of life. To them, excellence wasn't just about skill or achievement. It was about living in accordance with the highest principles and striving to be the best version of yourself. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, often reminded himself to focus on what is within his control and to do his best in every situation, regardless of the outcome. Consider your own life. How often do you strive for excellence in your daily activities? In a world that often encourages us to settle for mediocrity, the Stoic approach challenges us to aim higher, to push ourselves to grow and to constantly improve. It's about taking pride in your work, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem, and always striving to do better. Imagine waking up each day with a commitment to excellence, whether it's in your job, your relationships, or your personal goals, you approach each task with the intention of doing your best. This doesn't mean striving for perfection, but rather giving your full effort and attention to whatever you're doing. The Stoics believed that this pursuit of excellence is what leads to a fulfilling and meaningful life as it aligns our actions with our highest values. Pursuing excellence also means holding yourself to high standards, not in a way that is harsh or unforgiving, but in a way that inspires you to keep growing and improving. It's about taking responsibility for your actions, learning from your mistakes, and always looking for ways to better yourself. This mindset encourages continuous growth and development, leading to a deeper sense of satisfaction and achievement. Imagine the impact that pursuing excellence could have on your life. You'd approach each day with a sense of purpose and determination, knowing that you're striving to be the best version of yourself. You'd take pride in your work, in your relationships, and in your personal growth, knowing that you're constantly working to improve and evolve. In the Stoic view, the pursuit of excellence is not just a path to personal fulfillment, it's a way of contributing to the world around you. When you strive for excellence, you inspire others to do the same. You become a force for good in the world, leading by example and encouraging others to pursue their own potential. By embracing the stoic principle of pursuing excellence, you can create a life that is rich in meaning and purpose. You'll find fulfillment in knowing that you're always striving to be the best version of yourself, and you'll inspire those around you to do the same. This is the stoic way living with intention, striving for excellence, and making the most of the opportunities that life presents. As we wrap up this journey into Stoicism, it's clear that these principles aren't just ancient wisdom, they're timeless tools for modern living. By controlling your hormones, ruling your mind, and making purposeful choices about money, you're not just living, but thriving. Each habit we've discussed is a stepping stone on the path to greatness, guiding you toward a life of resilience, clarity, and deep meaning. If you've made it this far, drop a 100 in the comments to show you're part of the 0.01% who finish what they start. 
If you're truly serious about transforming your life, don't miss out. Join our community by subscribing to the channel. Let's continue this journey together, one step at a time.